This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Hey guys and welcome to yet another speed build. Um, happy, I think it's going to be Friday when this goes out, so happy Friday. Welcome to build 3 of 4 uh, with my early access. Thank you very much for EA for providing such a lovely copy for my early assessment. But anyway, today we are building like a converted coach house. Could be coach house, could be stables, either or whatever story you want to apply, feel free. Um, I got reference for this because I was looking for a place to stay for like a week or four days or something. And I found this, um, what was fully booked, a coach house, way too big for me. Um, but then they had a stables as well, like just, opposite it and I was like hmm this is a nice little concept conversion so um yeah I took the shape of it as my inspiration but the color and the outside and the interior is nothing like the real thing um it was like an all red brick building and it looks really really nice it looks so like cheerful and inviting and then i went to go and do red brick in this one which you'll see because i didn't cut it out and it looks heinous like like really bad there wasn't a good red brick that could be applied all over this build lots of times like in real life you just have one brick for the whole building and it looks cute in The Sims you apply one brick and it looks disgusting. So this is what we experienced in this build. Why I thought I could do an all red brick build, I don't know. Something, something was wrong with me. Um, but yeah, in this one I just took my artistic liberties and made several different stones and bricks to make it all come together and it's nowhere near red. So that's the answer. Now you'll see this part here that I'm working on is probably where would be where they housed the coaches and maybe possibly the horses. I don't know how this works. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna say this one would have been. See this door here? Just imagine it's like slightly wider um, to fit a coach in. Just just don't think of it as a regular door. Think of it as a beautiful. I could have put two of those together, but didn't. Um, anyway, so this this little section would have housed the coaches and then we're gonna say maybe uh, There were stables in the other part. I don't know. I'm not too sure uh, But in this one we've used some <laughs> Even more roof tricks as you can see me slide in this uh, roof into place here uh, because one, I think I've used the shortest wall height. Yeah, if I, no, medium. Did I use medium? No, shortest. So I have the walls on the shortest wall height. That's what they need to be for the, like the main part. But this one just needed to be a little bit taller. So I've used a half wall on top. And then I've done that old trick of doing three rooms, three just squares of room, put the roof on top, pull it down to where it needs to be, uh, delete out the rooms underneath and then slide it into place. Now normally when I've done this before, um, whenever you like put a room in underneath it, it goes, eh, eh, we don't like you and it deletes the roof. But for some reason in this one it didn't. So I was moving it out of the way just in case because um, if you get that when you're trying to do that roof trick and you like put a roof in underneath and not a roof a wall in underneath um then yeah uh just move the roof out the way and do all of your walls and then slide it back into place you'll be good to go but yeah so yeah another roof trick on this one um apparently can't build normally um so yeah but this one as i said converted coach house slash stables uh, so I put in this like step there you'll see out front oh god the red brick hey oh see told you heinous if you didn't believe me sometimes people think I can't build ugly I can build ugly if I left that red brick it would be ugly um so <laughs> you can see the step out there there's like these two little steps if you if you aren't horsey at all um I used to be horsey I went horse riding when I was a wee little nipper 
um, for a good few years and at the stables you always have this, you have these steps to get up on your horse. Now because I went and I am literally very very short, very very short when I tell you that I am only five foot two currently so you can just imagine me as a child even smaller. I used to wear clothes for like kids that were maybe three years younger than me. Um, so they used to just chuck me up, you know, just give me a little leg up so I didn't need to use that step. But if you're an adult, you normally use that step to get up on your giant horse, you know, you see, this is the easy way. So I really wanted to include that detail and I did. And there's also there, like a water pump was in debug, so I've put that on the side. So it's kind of like we have a few original pieces still left because uh, this is a conversion but those 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 cute little details are still there so um i was very happy that i managed to do it so i just want to say thank you to the dev team for putting in platforms because I don't know what it did before platforms like i could have never done that without platforms because platforms as well you can put the different heights together which is what i love the fact that you can do different heights and they can meet Whereas if you did different um, foundation heights, they can never touch. There was it would need to be a gap. So um, yeah, I'm loving it. So <sighs> details. Also, I've put those like hay bales that are actually seats. I've sized them up and put them on the side. So I thought I'd put this on this place. You can raise chickens. I've put in a chicken coop, and you've also got crops. So this is another chickeny chickeny crop place i think i've done that before have i done it before mm, no i've done just a crop place just a kind of chicken place yeah no i don't think i've done chickens and crops together yet um so on this one that's what we've got you can you can have both of them this lot i don't think is big enough to have like um a proper animal pen i haven't been able to play with those i didn't get to build that type of lot with my early access so hold a breath for that one but when i get the proper one i really want to build something that has the animal pens on them because that would be a huge lot and it would look cool and i'd have all my packs and i'd have custom content and um i'm not too sure what i'm gonna build for that but yeah so oh that reminds me now i'm sure you're all still counting down the days till uh we get access to this here expansion pack i think i think general consensus in the community is hell yeah bring on the 22nd of july i also am thinking the same thing but i just want to make a public service announcement and that is please please blow oh, wow i don't know what that word was please for the love of all things holy just just this once for me just just for me can we get some reference material before we start building in the world now there are plenty plenty of worlds i'm looking at you probably americans mostly but there has been some Europeans that I've seen build like this and I'm like, this is not UK farm, okay? There are not American farmhouses in the British countryside, okay? So if I see an American farmhouse posted anywhere, I shall be muting you all, okay? I just want you just, just please, can we just, just for the first build, just the first build can we get some reference for material and can we do like a, a farm that would at least be seen in europe at a minimum we're hoping you can narrow it down to the uk but i'll take europe as a as a, as a wider thing please can we not have american farmhouses in in this new world like i'm not don't want to be mean but there's how many other different worlds that you could put an American farmhouse in? Please don't put it in this one. Please, just please, 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 please don't do it. I've already seen some people already do it and I'm just like, no. Also, cowboy hats, not a thing in the British countryside. Please don't. Do not dress your <laughs> sims in cowboy hats. That is an American thing. That is, that is not a British, we do not have cowboy hats. Right? If you want to know, we have flat caps. Flat caps. 
get yourself flat cap. There's one in the base game. I'm pretty sure one comes with the expansion pack as well. But dress your sims in that, okay? Those, those are my two things, please. I just don't want to see cowboy hats, cowboy boots, or American farmhouses. That is it. Otherwise, just please have fun. But just that. That is that is my rant. I've seen lots of people saying that they're preparing for country living and then they have families with cowboy hats and boots and stuff like that. And I'm just like, oh, please, no. So because I'm telling you and demanding this research, don't worry, I got you covered. So a while ago on Patreon, I told all of my patrons that I would be building for this new um, world and I wanted their help. I wanted a little bit of inspiration for my builds. So um, I invited them all to collaborate with me and to pin all of uh, their favorite pins that would fit into this new world onto a Pinterest board with me. So I'm going to link that at this point now I'm going to set it away from private to public so that you guys have a board with all of the inspiration you could ever possibly need to create an authentic looking build. Now, some of the pins on there aren't quite authentic, I'll give you that, but you'll get the general vibe from all of the pins that are on there. Um, so I'm going to link that down below in the description box. Please take a look. It's got a whole load of pins in there. I think it's over like 700 at the moment. So if you can't find something to build in there, you've got real issues. But, but yeah, so thank you very much for everyone on Patreon that did um, contribute to the board. It was super duper helpful. Um, and several of my builds were taken from said board. And I'm sure they, the future builds will also be taken from there. So feel free to use that resource to your heart's content. And um, yeah, have, have fun on the 22nd when you get access. So back to this build. I have um, now been doing the exterior. Um, also, I'm slightly in love with this uh, mini Cooper. The, the little bit of um, decoration we can do now. We've got a couple more cars that we can put in. Um, I <laughs> Earlier today, someone left the comment was like, I noticed there's a Mini and a Jeep. By the way, it's not a Jeep, it's a, it's a Land Rover. Um, does this mean they're working on cars? No, no. <laughs> Why does, I don't understand this whole like, oh my God, there's a there's a seagull flying past. There must be a seaside world coming next. No, like it's stop trying to look for clues <laughs> because there really isn't any. Um, them putting in cars is like they have cars in every single world. They have decorative cars, and still there are no such thing as cars in the game. It is not a sign. Please, please, please. It's just to make the world look good because in worlds there are normally cars and especially in the UK, a Mini is a very popular car and so is a Land Rover in the countryside. I don't know if Minis are really popular in the countryside. I personally have a Mini Cooper myself. It is in like a grey colour. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's just, just for decoration. There's such thing as just for decoration okay so please don't don't read too much into the fact that they put a mini and a land rover in the world uh they and they are also just like um debug objects so it, it's okay but they are great decoration i don't mind um personally i don't mind not having cars um I think if cars were introduced, sure, it would make having garages more logical and they would also serve as a function, but I don't mind having decorative garages. I'm not, I'm not too fussed. If there's anything I want in the game at the, like the, the top of the list, I don't actually think it's cars. I'm not going to lie. I'm sorry to not agree with everyone, but I think I'd rather have some extra functional thing. Because to me, cars are kind of, would end up just being non-functional because you can still do the same thing without a car. 
like you can still get off a lot without a car and also we have the whole loading screen issue anyway I know we had that in like Sims 2 and you just like literally was reversed out of the driveway and then trottled off and then it was a loading screen um so I, I yeah I'd rather have some extra new function that we've never had before before cars but still I'll, I'll welcome cars with open arms it's just that I won't I won't be one of those people that says I want cars why are the cars so um yeah god I'm really ranty today <sighs> anyway let's get back to this build um so yeah this build i think has got one of my favorite interiors the exterior is cute there's some details in there that we quite like but the interior i really really like the way it came out i've put beams throughout and what i love about these spandles is that they don't have um the kind of like arched ending thing you know when you slot in a column into a spandrel it normally has a decorative element to it um i think they have them there but when this doesn't have a column attached to it it doesn't have that decorative thing normally um spandrels do still have that decorative ending bit even when they don't have a column on them it's like if they meet a wall they always end up having one but these don't so i don't know if that was like, like a conscious decision on their part to um make it so that they could be beams um when they weren't combined with columns I don't, I'm not too sure but um yeah they're good they look really good from above but I have to say when you're um underneath them they're quite skinny so they they obviously weren't meant to be like you know oak give you the impression of like an oak beam house oak frame house oak framed house yeah they weren't really meant to give you that impression they're way skinnier than they would need to be for that kind of vibe um but yeah i think there's a vibe we we could do with some more of like a big old like converted barn or like oak framed house or something like that especially for the 50 by 40 lots i think I think that's another look that you could definitely do in this world if it isn't just costures and if it if it isn't like manor houses um so yeah it's hopefully hopefully that will be something we could do in the future i don't know if there's anything in game at the moment that you can do that with uh beams are something i've always wanted always have and always will want uh but yeah this interior i think came together really well um i've gone through this kitchen several times and changed so many things we do end up changing the color of the counters again to the darker wood and i just i think the interior for this was a neutral color ended up being like completely neutral color palette but it's not too boring sometimes you can do neutrals and they kind of just all blend into one i think with this one i managed to do like enough contrast between the different neutrals to make it still look exciting so like the kitchen counters end up being quite dark but they're still a neutral and a kind of so lots of different whites and browns and stuff like that in this and um yeah it was just like all open plan down the bottom so it's like we've knocked through and made this all open so the entire downstairs is actually just one room and then um the upstairs we have like this amazing mezzanine you're gonna see in a sec uh, but we have this mezzanine, ooh, we saw it for a second there, we have a mezzanine level and I've put the beams all the way across there and like hung the um, pendant lights down from the beams so that looks really cute as well. I wish we also had those like, um, like the roof truss, is it trusses? Trusses? Roof truss, roof trusses, that's the one, um, where it's got the frame, you like, I think in the game if you if you knock out the floor and you look up into the roof i think it's like super duper dark i wish there was a way of like lighting that up uh so you could have like these amazing like vaulted ceilings oh, i wish i wish they had put something like that in actually <sighs> but no i don't even know any cc that does that to be quite honest where you can have like a vaulted bolted ceiling i used to have these uh, beams from like the sims resource back in the day when i used to shop on there 
And, um, but they were like decorative beams, but you kind of, they were just placed. They were just kind of individual objects. Um, but yeah, I just, I'd love to see like more of those items for this world. Now that we have the world, it's kind of like an inspiring thing so that you can get a lot more content out there now that there's a world and it's, there's a point to it, I suppose. Uh, but I think definitely I'll be using this world and Windenburg for my more kind of European builds. I don't know if this world, let me think, is this world gonna, re gonna replace Windenburg? Hmm. I don't think this world is gonna replace Windenburg. This is the real question. Now, Windenburg has always been like my favorite, favorite, favorite world for obvious reasons. Uh, people like it because it has like the modern part. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really use the modern part, so it's kind of redundant to me. I always use like either the island or the countryside part or the old town. So really, Windenburg has like four areas whereas most other worlds only have three areas i think including this one has three areas um and i don't think it can replace it for example for commercial lots i think the old town in windenburg just makes sense it's like all set up to be a square as well there for for commercial lots i think it looks great in this world there is only the pub that is a commercial lot i think at the moment and um they have kind of have like the the high street where they have like you can do window shopping and they have the garden stall and um what is the and the grocery store so that kind of handles it and i think up the top where the residential houses are i don't think they make so much sense to be commercial either so i i don't think i see myself doing any more commercial lots in this world apart from where the pub is maybe changing it to something else but or making it a multifunctional lot would be cool oh god i still don't we all want multifunctional lots that's what i want before cars before cars i want multifunction lots that's what i want that's all i want just, just give me them now like i think i saw a concept once by sims is it called is it called sims on the rope or sims rope um, it's a French uh, game changer. Um, does all of these townies as well and um, house builds and also makes CC as well. But he did this like concept once of showing like how you could zone different parts of a lot to make it multifunctional. And I just wish we had multifunctional lots on like in the world. I don't know what the, I've never asked what the limitations are on doing that, why it's not a thing, but um, I would love it, please. And thank you, please. Um, so this lot originally has, a, I think she's called Cecilia. Cecilia? Uh, she is the single legisim that has moved from the big city into um, Henford on Bagley in the countryside. And I thought, you know, I think city goers normally get snap up those those conversions pretty damn quick. So I thought it was fitting for her. This is the one that originally has um, Claire Chavon's uh, barn on it, barn conversion, which you get. Basically, I've I've swapped one conversion for another. But um, yeah, I thought it suited her this one and. Um, this lot was just the perfect size. So again, I apologize for bulldozing, but you know, lots are limited now. There's only two f like free lots in the world that weren't built on. One was a 50 by 40, which is a national park, which I, I implore you, please, dear God, people, just bulldoze the lot. It's, it's, you know, you're never gonna go there with your Sims, just use it, maybe make a nicer park or something, I don't know. And then there's another empty lot, I think. I'm sure there's another empty lot somewhere that is just trees. Oh yes, in the countryside, there's another 50 by 40 that is just empty, just has a few trees and some rocks on it. So, um, yeah, it's like only if I didn't want to bulldoze someone's lot, I had to build a 50 by 40. And 
that was not going to be my <laughs> life this week uh but yeah you can see me putting in some more beams here and i think they disappear during gameplay i don't think you see the spandrels indoors i'm not too sure but um yeah they all look good i think they look good from above and you very rarely look from underneath anyway so as long as they look good from above you're kind of sorted um so yeah they look kind of thicker than they are when you look from down below but this bedroom up here as we as i said it has this mezzanine level and in life i think i think i would love a mezzanine level like if i could i'm, I'm saving up to buy somewhere at the moment and oh, mezzanine level would be like a huge check on the list if there was like a mezzanine level apartment like it had the bedroom up the top and you'd have your living space down below or I'd love a mezzanine level but also I'm a huge fan of a period property so finding a period property with a mezzanine level in in London <laughs> yeah I would not be eating for the next 10 years that could actually be helpful though it's a very good diet regime buy a house that you can't <laughs> so you can't afford to eat then you just lose all the weight, it's be great. Please don't take my advice, please don't. Um, but yeah, so up in this place, we have an ensuite as well. I made it a little bit smaller. I was having problems like arranging the bed up here, plus the dresser, dresser unit. And I was like, no, it needs her to have a dressing. Uh, dresser drawers, drawers? It needs to have dresser drawers, that's the what. Wow, you wouldn't have thought English was my first language. First and only language, by the way. Um, but yeah, I needed that, so I just made the room a little bit bigger. But anyway, screenshots. Uh, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll be back in a couple of days with my uh, final early access build for you all. Um, so I'll see you all then. Bye, guys.